everybody, welcome to day three of the Golden Goblet. May we never see this screen from Kid Icarus again. As Daniel described it, lol, he's a kid drinking wine, seems good. Um, today we're playing Ghosts and Goblins. You may remember we played Ghouls, Super Ghouls and Ghosts during a previous <laughs> the Super Nintendo Golden Goblet. Um, Everybody did terribly because it's one of the hardest games ever made. Um, let's see how things go in Ghosts and Goblins. I'm eager. I'm eager to see how it goes. Okay, hold up. 15 minute timer, please. Here's all I remember about Ghosts and Goblins. I do 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 I'm spawning here. Oh, the beast on the mountain flashed us. He's stolen my wife but left my armor. Alrighty. Dun dun. Da 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 da. <laughs> oh my lord. I can't help but notice that as of right now, this seems fairly similar. Perhaps is even... Oh no, my armor, dude. Is this a remake? What do you got? Armor? That's not... Why do I not have armor? I, I picked up armor. I didn't get any dang armor. Whoa, watch out for that thing. Well, I gotta say... I think... Uh, okay, okay. I think in general... The game was a little easier to follow. Oh my god, he's a genius. The game was a little easier to follow at 16-bit uh, versus 8-bit, but can we talk about how well we did during that opening section? I don't know, what, what am I supposed to do about this guy? I had to wait for the platform. Honestly, that went super well. I'm sure we'll start at the start. Yeah, 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 no kidding. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, 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 no kidding. So I'm sure we're back at the start, but I thought that was a pretty good performance, all things considered. Yo, we get to start with the, the holy hand grenade on this one. Alright, terrible start. I still don't understand why picking up a suit of armor doesn't give you armor. That's kind of like an NES thing. Um, hello. I've been turned into a frog. That was unexpected. I feel like that's that's an NES thing, is like, they only had room for like eight sprites on the cartridge. So they're like, you know what, just reuse the armor, and the armor will be like points or something. I accept it. I accept it. I don't know what we need to get to a 1-up. I don't know why I would even care about a 1-up. I mean, I think if you're just able to beat a level, that would constitute like a Golden Goblet Golden Medal worthy performance. This is a law of large numbers situation here. You go to reset game. I genuinely believe, in my heart of hearts, we can at least make it onto the platform to get on the water. Please just skip this. I, I, I'm just begging you to skip this part. I can't watch it, it's so traumatic. Okay, it's good. The spear is good. The spear is good. Look at that. We got 200 extra points towards a 1-up that is completely meaningless. I can't wait. Look at that. He's rolling. Oh, he's cruising. We got the holy water. Holy fire, I guess. Bad start. That's all right. We're steamrolling. Still going. We can't have too many of these on the screen at one time. You gotta be careful. Get the points. Look at that. 200 extra points. Put that in my point pouch. We're moving on. His freaking blue hair. His blue hair got me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. We're at stage zero. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Da -da -da -da. Actually, I, I don't know how I feel about having the fire. I feel like the sword was doing pretty good work for us. You know what? Maybe we should just wait to attack the enemies until they're a little closer. Nope, that's gonna hurt. Okay. 
The dagger. We're safe! Good duck, good duck. I know you couldn't see yourself because your beard is the exact same color as that moss-covered wall, but it is what it is, brother. You did a great job there. The dagger is going to do incredibly for you. Look at that. And we can spam it like crazy. This, this is changing the game up right here. I still don't know if we have to beat this guy. If I'm just wasting my freaking time. Ooh, he's dead! Okay, okay, okay. This is the jump that matters the most. He's done it. We have crossed bridge number one. What? Well, I think we, we made one... Oh, we get to start from across the bridge, dude. Let's go. This, this is... We've made some incredible progress. This is new for me. So just dodge these fools. There you go. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay, no, no, no. We dodge him. He went... He dipped. He dipped lower than expected on that one. Now, this would be a great time to hit me up with a one-up. What the... What the heck is even that, dude? What are you dropping on me? What are you dropping on me? I'm, I'm, st I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I got stuck in the quicksand. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like that's better than I did in Super Goals and Ghosts. Oh, there's a continue. And I didn't hit it. Embarrassing. A simple calculus. Okay, so what do we know? It's very simple. First off, I will not accuse my competitors of using resin because I started over. That's on me. All we can do is recognize that mistakes were made. The only way forward for us is going to be getting back there. And then once we've gotten back there, the world is our burrito, dude. The only really touchy part here, like, did you see that incredible play? I've been playing too much Dark Souls. We're too strong. The only touchy play is this gentleman right there, who apparently just did, like, the greatest attack I've ever seen in any video game ever. Hit me with an attack I was forced to jump over and then swoop down and hit me right in my jump range. Okay, Miyazaki. That's alright, because you've fallen victim to my own personal... Uh, trap right here because of the fact that I have the dagger the most powerful weapon in Ghouls and Ghosts history I'm already in my head. I'm like, oh, baby How amazing would it be? To get not just a checkpoint But to complete a level oh my god it would I'd be over the I'd be over the freaking moon this is like you gotta use the pause trick from Mega Man 1. Duck, duck, duck. He didn't duck. He, what are you supposed to do? Jump? No. <laughs> Never. Come on, we were so close to getting to the pillars. I just, we've done so badly in this Golden Goblet so far, I think. Just, just to make it a little further into the forest. I think using the continue is not resin. Every other Golden Goblet we've played, the continue has been in play. Good duck, good duck, that was clutch. You know what, maybe it's good that we got a chance to start over there. Plus, I think that was on continue, now that I think about it, so never mind. Turns out I don't even know what I'm talking about. Re up here. I'm starting to like this bop. I really wish it didn't look like an old hairy man in a trench coat showing me his how's your father, but uh, you know, games were different back in the day. I think a hundred percent focus is required. If we focus as in as intently as I know how. I think we got every available chance. 
You know what's frustrating is when the enemies spawn in front of you and you yeet the, the javelin right by them. That's the one that bothers me the most. That one's on me. I was pressing too many buttons too fast. God, just give me baseball, dude. I can't. I can't wait. Baseball and golf. I have at least... At least I know what I'm doing. In these ones, I'm like... I'm the sacrificial lamb. So these are... It's a, it's a powerful spell. As powerful as a spell can be, considering every enemy already dies in one hit to anything. See, that's what I mean. How dare you create the enemy when I'm already on top of them? How am I supposed to deal with that? You know what? We're probably in Yeet City. Why not come upstairs? Just see, like, you know... Maybe we can pick up enough... enough gold. Whoops. <laughs> no fall damage, dude. Okay, we've made it back to the boss. Okay, we hit him with two. What, what can you do? Like, he's too powerful. You could just try to yeet it onto the platform, I guess. Where are we at here time-wise? Four minutes and 19 seconds. Okay, so we're begging for that miracle run. Let's just call it like we see it. We are aiming... It's the dagger. It can't be gotten because it spawned inside of the tombstone. Dunk a dunk. Dunk a dunk. Dunk. Dunky de dunk. I walked right into that one. I, c I can't even be mad. I can be mad about that one. I feel like I was placed in an untenable situation with no chance for success. <laughs> Much like my whole generation trying to make it into the job market in the middle of two once-in-a-generation recessions. Am I right? <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. But anyway. Ah, they show. No, don't take her, please. We are having such a good doll. Oh, there she goes with Ron Jeremy. Okay, let's go. This one. Great start. Look, I'm not going to say there's no tilt going on here. But we're not quite full tilt poker starring Chris Moneymaker. And Greg Raymer. And Jamie Gold. Alright, cool. You ever consider, like, not shooting things at me so as a result I can progress in your game and give it a good review on GameReviews.com? You miss Mario Maker now? Just throwing that out there. How are you liking a well-balanced Golden Goblet? I am having fun. This is also madness, though. It's cool. Just why don't you just come up from the ground and hit me, and then phase through the tombstones? Did you didn't know? Uh, blue hair zombies can phase through tombstones. Uh, guys with beards that are the same color as rock can't phase through tombstones. I don't want that garbage. That's our default weapon. misery. So you've chosen death. Dunka da dunka dunk. Yeah, at least the song's a slapper. Don't get Why do you spawn right on top of me, you freaking Oh my god. Oh my god. The Okay, goodbye. Who would have thought our best run would be in the first 30 seconds? Start me over to skip the opening cutscene, Hideo Kojima. I don't need to see it again. We got 82 seconds remaining on the clock. I don't even- I've ran out of funny comments for that guy. Oh my lord. Okay. At least we can take solace in the- I'm gonna tell you straight up. I feel like just making it across the water puts us in silver territory. Again, mouth pogs off with golds. More frequently than I would ever have expected. 
But I think we could be in... I mean, this is not to say Dan in a retro game like this couldn't come up with a dub. I'm more just saying, statistically speaking, I would expect that we actually have, like, a silver chance. Well, the timer's gonna go off any second now, and it's gonna free us from the misery through which we've experienced, which is pretty exciting so far. Um... I, I'm just... He just spawned right on top of me. This is a... I would never go so far as to suggest that this is a, a bad game. Oh, thank God we're saved. However, what I would say is that modern games, sometimes maybe there's a false dichotomy. Maybe it's not that modern games are too easy, and back in the NES days they gave you some difficulty. A lot of modern games have some weirdness ironed out of them. Like enemies that spawn literally like on top of you as you're walking and hit you instantaneously. I'm not salty at the Golden Goblet. I am kind of salty at the fact that this game exists on planet Earth. Well, no, I'm salty that we're playing it, so I guess <laughs> I'm salty at the Golden Goblet. But this is half the fun, right? Is games that none of us maybe have much experience in that are hard, and just seeing if anybody can pull out the pogged run of the century. You might say, like, NL. What if you just beat the boss on this run? What if you go full yeet build? Um, I would not be mad, because I would consider that at least a victory over the game. He's too fast. He's the fastest kid alive. I'm dead, so we don't have to worry about that, thankfully. Hey, thanks for watching The Golden Goblet. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, as always, in trade for my suffering, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Love to see these around 1,500... 1700 one day we're gonna get to those sports games and we're gonna maybe come in second for now thanks for watching thanks for your support and i'll see you next time see ya